Even today, devout Hindu households across India wake up to the Suprabhatam, an ode to awaken the gods. A modern masterpiece in the divine voice of M.S. Subalakshmi. Lakshmi was the face of Carnatic vocal music in the 20th century. Starting at the age of 10, she became a rising recording star by the early 1930s. In 1938, Seva Sadhanam, a social drama, marked her entry into movies. Through the 1940s, her tryst with acting continued. Her last movie, Meera, was a blockbuster. Even Sarojini Naidu couldn't stop herself from praising her. Every child in India has heard about Subalakshmi, about the beauty of her voice, the magic of her personality, the gracious charity of our heart. Hari Tumha Subalakshmi's rendition of Hari Tumharu has an intriguing story. Mahatma Gandhi wanted to hear her sing the bhajan on the eve of his 78th birthday, but she declined his request, saying she did not know the song. This was the reply she received. Gandhiji would rather hear Subalakshmi recite the verse on a tape than hear anybody else sing it. There was no way she could avoid this. Overnight, she recorded the song at the All India Radio Studios in Madras and sent the tape to Delhi. In 1966, Subalakshmi became the first Indian classical musician to perform at the United Nations. Her rendition of Maitri Bhajata, a call to cultivate world peace, was a landmark performance. Over the years, she was honored with the biggest awards. In 1997, she gave her last public concert. For those who have grown up listening to her, she's a lifelong treasure. For those who are yet to discover her genius, she's a gem worth coveting.